So now I'm going to show you how to set up this computer for the first time. First thing, you can hit escape to get into the voiceover settings, or you can clip on the trackpad three times to get into your accessibility features, but we don't need that for this video. So the first thing we do after you choose your region, go and hit continue. And here you have some accessibility. So if you have any issue with vision, motor skills, hearing, or congestive, just choose on that. It'll help you walk through the next steps. But I'm gonna press on not now. On this step, you wanna go ahead and click on your Wi-Fi and enter the password if you don't have it hooked up with a network cable. So I'll go ahead and do that now. On the next screen, you're gonna have data and privacy and you can read through, learn more to find out more about that. Go ahead and press on continue. And if you plan on migrating from a PC or a Mac, you can use this screen, but I'm gonna do a fresh install. So I'm gonna go ahead and press on not now. Now next, you wanna enter your Apple ID. And just in case you're new to Apple, you can create an Apple ID right here. Just go ahead and click on that and go through the screens on the website. And just keep in mind, if you have Apple devices on your system, you need to go ahead and hit allow on that and it'll deliver a code that you can put into your screen. Next, you'll be prompted for terms and conditions. And you have to read through this to get to the next step if you plan on using the iCloud. Another thing you can do on this screen is you can press on edit right here and you can change from a emoji. You can also use your camera to take a picture of yourself. Or if you have a thumb drive plugged in, you can use photos. So I'm gonna leave this just on this icon for now and hit continue. And one thing you'll notice at the bottom that it is create an account for this computer and you can add multiple users on it later on just in case you have to. Now I'm assigning to my iCloud and it's gonna go ahead and give this computer permissions to download any applications or anything I purchased on my Apple Store. Plus, you'll have access to your Messenger, your FaceTime, and any of the photos that are on the cloud. On this screen, it's gonna allow you to find your computer via the web and looking up at a map. Plus, it allows you to erase your computer remotely just in case it was reported stolen. Now on this screen, you can choose what options you wanna have running. You can have location service. You also can have Siri turned off and on. If you want to report your screen time, encryption and appearance like your dock and stuff like that. You can customize it under the settings right here, but I'm gonna hit back and just go ahead and leave it factory and I'll do that later. Next, we're gonna set up the touch ID and that's that little square right here. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna to touch it in a different series so it can actually copy your fingerprint just by moving it in different circles until you get an okay checkbox. And this is gonna allow you to log into websites, anything that has to do with your Apple ID, passwords, stuff like that, it's gonna use your fingerprint. If you already have Apple Pay on your wallet, you don't have to do this, but if you need to, you can go in here and you can set up your credit cards on file, but I'll just press on later because I already have an iPhone that has these features already on it. Now that I got some pop-ups, I'm gonna go ahead and set up all the permissions and get the computer ready to go. And then I'll show you a few last things that I would do to tweak out the computer. I went ahead and set up a few things like some of my application, but what I like to do when I first get my computer all set up is I like to go down to this bottom tray and remove things I don't use on a daily basis. So for example, I don't use Apple TV, so I can go up here and hit options and remove from dock. I don't look at the news, do that from my phone. Also, I don't need to see the app store every day. So I hope you guys get the point. Just customize this exactly how you want. The next thing I like to do is go over to the Apple logo and click on system preferences. Then what I do is go over to your sound and I will make sure that my sound is always on top. So that way here at the top, I can always access my speakers or audio system when I need to. Then you go back. I also check for system updates and you can see there is one in here for Final Cut and I like to check off the automatic updates. Now, since I have installed Final Cut, it will start updating that as soon as I get back to it. The next thing I do is usually I go to the mouse, but in this case, I go to trackpad and I make sure that the secondary click is on. So you can choose these different ones, but let's say, for example, I want to go over to the right corner. I can click on that or left corner. Let's do left corner. So that way, when I click on the bottom, according to this picture, I can actually do right click on certain things so I can copy and paste. And once I got all that set up, again, you can go in here and customize everything. You can look at your battery life and you can also go in here and you can adjust when you want the screen to turn off. So I like to leave mine on a little bit longer like this. And also I like to check optimize for video streaming. Once I get that checked, then I will go over to my finder and you can see all these recent icons right here. So I don't want to see that. 
So what you can do is go to the top, click on Finders, and then go into Preferences. Now this is a list of all the different things that show up on your computer. So I get rid of Recent, so it would not show up on this list right here. Now I do have Apple Music, I can check that on. I do use the Documents and Desktops. Another thing I don't like is whenever I plug in devices that shows up on the desktop, you can go down here and uncheck things that you don't want to have to do that. So once I get that all set up, I can close that out. And then I'm gonna go back to Applications, go down here to the bottom of Utilities. So since I use screen sharing and taking pictures a lot on my computer, I just drop it down here somewhere I can easily access it. You can see that I did download some applications I use a lot like the GoPro player is gonna be better in your Apple computer and it's free. A great thing about the GoPro player is that it'll play some of those files that the uh, QuickTimes will not play. Also, when installed my full Office suite and it's a paid version, my to-do list so I can sync it with my other computer. I downloaded my Final Cut Pro in Motion for creating videos on the fly. And I will go into Time Machine and add this to my server. And the way you would do that is go back over here to their preference and then go into system preference, go down here to time machine. And if you have a server, you can choose where you want to back everything up. Now I need to add my server to this, but you can choose any of these different servers or you can use your external drive and then press on backup. Now security is very important. So what I recommend is go to Amazon or some type of website and buy some of these webcam covers. So you can easily cover the camera when you're not using it without using a piece of tape. And this is what they look like. It has self-adhesive on the backside of it. And all you're gonna do is just stick it over your camera. And what I like to do is just open up your photo booth, go ahead and take off the adhesive off the backside of it. And then you wanna line it up with the camera hole right there and stick it on. And now you have privacy and then you have your camera. When I was at Best Buy, they wanted me to buy these $50 covers, but I went to Amazon and I picked up one less than 20 bucks and I wanted something that was kind of matte black, but this is the final step to protect the computer. And you just wanna snap that into place, flip it over, put it down really nicely, and then you wanna put the bottom part on. Once you get that in, now your computer is protected and it also will look new in the future if you ever decide to take that off. So, that's pretty much everything I want to show you guys. I know if you have an Apple computer, you probably already did all this, but this is the way I set up my new computers. And I want to say thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.